Hi, Dr. Erin O'Connor here, and today I just wanted to make a video about nails. And you might be thinking, nails aren't that important. They're something that's cosmetic. If my dog's nails are too long, they're just probably going to get stuck in the carpet. But the truth is, nails actually provide a lot of neurological input to the dog's brain. So it's the nails are going to tell the dog where their um, head is at, where their feet are at, it's going to tell them what type of surface they're walking on, so tile versus grass versus carpet, and it's going to tell them how hard they have to step, and much, much more. Um, there's so many different signals going from the feet up to the brain and back down um, to the feet. So the only time a dog's nail should be touching the ground is if they are walking uphill or if they are digging a hole. So if you're hearing little clicking sounds as your dog is walking on tile floor, it's probably time to get your dog's nails trimmed. So what happens when the dog's nails are too long? Well, it is going to send the signal to the dog's brain that they are going uphill, even if they're not. So the dog is going to change their posture. What they're gonna do is they're going to lean forward and they are also going to bend at their knees so then they don't fall forward on their face. So you can imagine walking around on level ground by leaning forward and bending at your knees, you're gonna get tired very quickly. And so a lot of times these dogs' muscles are fatigued before they even stand up because they're constantly overworking muscles. Instead of just using stabilizing muscles to stand, they're also using mobilizing muscles to stand. So you're just recruiting many more muscles that would actually be used to do that posture. So sometimes people will say, well, my dog doesn't stand up for very long. They stand up and then they immediately lay back down. So check your dog's nails if they're doing that because a lot of times that could be part of the reason why they're doing that. Or it could be the full reason of why they're doing that. Another problem with having bent knees is that it's going to put a load on the cruciate ligaments in the knee and the cruciate ligaments are not actually meant to take on a load. They are meant to stabilize the knee. So if you're bending the knees, you're taking that stabilization away and you're actually going to be putting your dog at a greater propensity for an ACL tear. So making sure that those nails are trimmed can help to prevent ACL tears and it can also help to prevent um, back pain because a lot of times even with the leaning forward a dog might start arching their back too so it's going to be using a lot more muscles in the back and that can lead to a back injury very easily as well. You can either trim the dog's nails yourself or you can bring your dog to your vet or your groomer and have them trimmed there if you do them yourself, I have a couple tips on how to trim the nails. Usually when nails are trimmed, they're trimmed along the bottom of the nail. So you can see the quick inside of the nail and you can see that red line going across. That's the typical place that a nail is trimmed. But if you look at this next diagram, with the blue line going down, if you trim the upper part of the nail versus the bottom of that curve, you're actually going to be able to trim them back a lot shorter than they actually would be able to be trimmed. So what happens is the top of the nail is the strongest part of the nail. The underside of the nail is the weakest part of the nail. So even if there's a little bit of an edge down there on the bottom side of the nail, Usually, since that's the weakest part of the nail, it just sloughs off as they're walking on some pavement. It actually sloughs off really quickly. And then you have the quick moving back and you're getting some, some good nail off after each trim versus trimming along the bottom. So keep your dog's nails nice and trim and you can change the way that your dog walks and sees the world around them.